While the cross represents the ultimate in redemptive suffering, it also occupies what we might call the space in between. The space in between is the space occupied by the reconciler, the one who brings together those who are in tension and conflict with each other. It was the space occupied by Jesus, through whom God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross, as the Apostle Paul writes in his letter to the Colossians. The space in between was the space occupied by Jesus when he stood alongside a woman accused of adultery and refused to yield to the judgment of death by stoning. It was the space occupied by Jesus when he dared one day to speak to a Samaritan woman, not of his people, who had come to draw water from a village well. It was the space he filled as he stood between his frightened disciples and the raging night storm on the Sea of Galilee. It was the space he filled countless times as he healed the sick, the lame, and the blind. It was the space that later Paul and Barnabas filled as they represented outsider Gentile Christians to the Jerusalem council called to discern their destiny. And it is the space that we, in our time, are called to fill. Sometimes simply standing alongside in support of those weak and oppressed, sometimes offering to mediate between those in conflict, and sometimes boldly confronting those who are oppressing others. Those who occupy the space in between should do so as Jesus advised by being wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That is, as Martin Luther King Jr. translates that passage, having a tough mind on one hand, as he understood wise as serpents, and a tender heart on the other, as he understood being harmless as doves. A tough mind and a tender heart, wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Behaviors to be demonstrated by those occupying the space in between, moreover, are those modeled by God. Even as Jesus had based his understanding of goodness on God's modeling by making the sun to rise and the rain to fall and the good and the bad alike, the writer of James counsels everyone to be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. While James does not directly link these to the character of God, they are character traits of God that are exhibited throughout Scripture slow to speak, or quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. Like Jesus, his followers too are called to the ministry of reconciliation, that is to occupy the spaces in between, bringing together heaven and earth on one hand, and our brothers and sisters and fellow humans on the other. So in conclusion, is there a method in Jesus? I think so, not only in Gandhi. There is a method in Jesus long before Gandhi. Peacemaking in the Jesus way is rooted in a clear understanding of the meaning of shalom, not simply as the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice and wholeness reflected in a right relationship with God and our fellow humans and the created order. Peacemaking in the Jesus way begins by refusing to add to the brokenness that already exists in the world by cooperating with evil. Rather, the Jesus way is to overcome evil with the goodness of strategies that lead to restoration where there is brokenness. Means begin with that simple two-letter English word, go, whether offender or victim, and make peace. But go with humility and a plan of stepwise escalation in mind in the event resistance is encountered. And keep in mind that the change that might be called for after a mutual search for truth may be mine and the community of which I am a part. 
rather than the other. And in the end, if need be, be willing to accept suffering on oneself rather than inflicting suffering through violence on others. And so model the way of transformative, redemptive suffering exhibited by Jesus on the cross. As Jesus said, take up your cross daily and follow me. And finally, occupy the space in between with grace and wisdom. Bringing those estranged from God into fellowship with him and bringing those estranged from each other together to make peace. Such, I suggest, is the goodness of peacemaking in the way of Jesus. Amen.